on the floor of 2.0. It is has to be over. One, two, three. We have new tag team champions, ladies and gentlemen. 2.0 have climbed the ladder. They have won the tag team titles. Unbelievable. After all their work here in the NCW, after all their time, they have paid their dues, and now wrestlers are coming out of the locker room to celebrate with 2.0. Unbelievable. We got new tag team champions right here tonight, folks, at Challenge Mania X2. Unbelievable.
Rich now making his entrance to the NDR arena alongside with, uh, well, what shall we say is translator, is, is, is Russian translator, Anna Minushka and Gorgeous Mike. That's right, the full coalition is here in, in full impact. I mean, he has brought all his tools with him to come out of this match, the new IC champion. Unfortunately for them, the Russian coalition, they didn't have a very good year. Burgess Mike got injured early this year, so that put the tag team uh, off the map for a while. Binovich Furanov added to adapt his style in singles matchup. You know what, he's done it very well. He's a smart little Russian, I have to say. He, he knows when to cheat and when not to. He goes behind the backs of his opponents and does what he's got to do. He gets the job done. He doesn't do it the right way, but he gets the job done. Here you go, that, that's commies for you. Exactly. <laughs> have been on and off each other for the past two months. They hate each other. Oh, look at that! Is, is this who I think it is? Has Nova Kane returned to the NCW? Well, he was injured... Uh, he was injured last year, I think. That's was right. it Crime Scene 2003? That's right. Nova was taken out with a jaw injury, but uh, he seems to be returning here with, with his former tag team partner, Blaze. Unbelievable! We got Nova Kane here to watch his cousin's back, Blaze. Blaze has played his cards right, bringing back Nova Kane. This match is even now. They're, I don't know who to choose as a winner. You're absolutely right now. Uh, Nova Kane's there. We'll just mic up the outside. We'll be watching that situation very closely. Well, 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 well Anna Minuska's there too. Did, does she count as a man? I guess you can count her as a man if you want. Well, she's big. I mean, she's strong. We've seen her wrestle at Challenge Mini X1. That's right, Jen. She beat up the men. She sure did. She usually does, I've been told. Now, uh, Spinovich Furanov, very focused, looking at the title. He wants to get his hands on these. Oh, look at that. Look at that. How disrespectful for our brave fans here. That is nothing but indecent. Vino flipping off the crowd. I mean, come on. Blaze now talking to our very pretty camera woman. Wonder what he said. Maybe maybe he's setting up a date for after the match. Who knows? Uh, you know what? He's a champ. Girls want him. It's pretty understandable. He doesn't have any hair, though. Does that frankly matter? Absolutely not. Because Binovic doesn't have any any hair either, so no hair pulling in this match, folks. There you go, coming up the day again. What does hair pulling have to do? Let's concentrate on the match that started, Tommy. Well, we've seen the first lockup and uh, Binovic very wisely getting out of that. Another lockup, headlock here. And uh, look at Blaze, he, he's grabbing his neck. What happened there? I don't know. He, he's been. He's had a lot of shoulder problems, neck problems, back problems in the past. He came back 100%. Maybe those problems are coming back to haunt him tonight. That's what wrestling will do, yeah. I look at Blaze squeezing the neck of Fulano now, reversing with the harm bar, grabbing the head once again. Dino is showing that he is an all-out wrestler. He can be technical, and he has taken advantage of Blaze at every chance he's got. Dino's the man right now in this match. Binovich Furanov, a second generation wrestler. His father trained at the Loisir Saint Jean Baptiste back in the 70s. A country singer, too. 
Binovich for an off is a country singer. <laughs> he is, and his father was a country singer. It's a country family. Okay, a Russian country family. I'll go with that. Blake's taking Bino to the ropes. Of the huge drop down. What's going to happen here? Leapfrog. Presses him up in the air. Blaze is showing incredible strength right now. Drops Bino flat on his face. <laughs> I'm a little surprised. You know so much about wrestling, but you don't know anything about Russian country music. I'm not a Russian country music fan, Tommy. Well, I am. So does Vidanya. Okay, Tommy, that's enough country music from you. All right, this came from Anna Minuska, by the way. Irish whip now, and Blaze ducks the clothesline. Yes, right. Oh, look at that, the low blow. The low blow, right. Oh, my God, and look at that, what was that? This is what I mean. Bino can place his shots so well into a match that he, he'll just take over whenever he wants, and that was proof right there. Fat neck breaker by Binovich Puranov. Now he, he hangs down Blaze with the turnbuckles. Look at that. He's distracting the referee. What for? Ah, there you go. There you go. Anna Minushka strangling the neck. Blaze's neck. Oh, look at Nova Kane. Nova's about to take Anna out there. This just isn't right. Bino is using his strength and numbers to, to get over in this match. Blaze is, is getting back up. Bino body slamming Blaze down on the mat. And Bino's right on the second rope. There you go. Drops a forearm from the second rope. Will this be all? One, two. Kick out by Blaze. It is not enough to take out the IC champion. Nova Kane chanting for Blaze to get up. The crowd getting pumped up right behind Blaze. Why did, why did Bino go to the top again? Blaze, Blaze is up there now taking advantage of that mistake. Plays very fast, very agile for, for his side. Would you agree, Joey? That's right, and we just saw a step up Enziguri on Bino, which sent Binovich to the outside. Blaze is pretty much set for a win right now. I mean, you should go get him. Why, why isn't he taking advantage of this opportunity? If you watch wrestling on TV, you probably know Rob Van Dam from the WWE. Blaze, very influenced by Rob Van Dam. You'll see him pull out a couple of moves from this guy. And watch his feet. Like I said earlier, for a man this size. There you go. Oh, no. That is what I mean. His feet are weapons. He can use them anytime, anywhere. And he just proved it with that spinning roundhouse kick. Sends Bino to the rails hard. And gorgeous Mike running towards Binovich probably to comfort him a little bit. And uh, look at that. Oh, and Gorgeous Mike doesn't want a piece of Novocaine. He's stuck between the two of them. Oh, oh my God. Blaze just got thrown over the rail to the outside into the fans. What is going on here? What's he setting up for? He's in the fans. What's he going to do? He just jumped over the railing with a suicide clothesline. Incredible. Look at that. He's just punching Binovich right in the head. Lifting him back up on his feet. And uh, look at Gorgeous Mike. Strength in numbers once again. But this is leading into an all-out brawl. This is not a wrestling match anymore. You're absolutely right. It's just like I said earlier. I didn't expect a scientific oh, match. Oh, please, no. Not on the concrete floor. Not on the... Suplex on the concrete floor. Blaze has just taken out Binovich Fornoff with a suplex on the concrete floor. He hurt his back, but I think he, he hurt his shoulder as well. Blaze coming back from a shoulder injury. That might, that might be a factor in the match. You know what? A maneuver like that hurts both men. He just spared Binovich on the run. Did you see the whiplash on Binovich's head? Could very well have a concussion as we speak. We'll keep you informed if, Bla if Bino can continue the match on Gorgeous Mike looking on after his, his, his tag team partner. I think... I think Beatles out cold. Binovich doesn't seem to be wanting to get up or have the ability to get up. And look at Nova. Warning. Warning the Russian coalition. Leave him alone. Let him fight. Stay out of this. Nova Kane is a big man. You do not mess with a big man like that. I'm guessing that's why Blaze brought him. It's evening out the, the odds. But again, there's still a factor of Anna. The Russians are three. And Blaze and Nova are two. Oh, a huge moonsault from Binovich Furanov. That, 
when does Binovich pull out a moonsault? He's going all out tonight, isn't he? This is the absolute first time that I have I have ever seen Binovich do a moonsault, but this is for the IC Championship belt, Joey. Not only is it for the IC Championship belt, it is challenge mania, ladies and gentlemen. You do anything and everything you can to get a win at, at this show. You're absolutely right, Joey. And now Binovich getting getting up on the apron, getting back in the ring. Will he pin Blaze for the, for the tree count? I guess not. He's lifting him back up. Tommy, I'm getting a, a message from backstage here. Uh, Nick Blade, I've got the update on Nick Blade. He is in the hospital right now. He has broken his wrist. And uh, he's going to be out for three months with an operation. He won't be able to contend in the ring. Well, our best wishes go to uh, Nick Blade. And uh, we're happy to bring you this medical update now. But for now, uh, Binovich uh, had his foot on the rope, so oh. I guess... Uh, no, no, Bino did not have his foot on the ropes. Anna Minushka put his foot on the ropes. Blaze had him pinned with that rolling thunder, but no, Anna Minushka interfered. Referee Carrindo is having his hands pulled right now. There's a lot of people, a lot of traffic outside the ring, and he has to manage the inside of the ring as well. Blaze taking a water break. What's he setting up for here? Is he going to finish off Binovich? I don't know. But it's very hot here in the, in the arena right now. So it, it, it's summertime. So I guess both wrestlers have to be very exhausted. After the performance they're putting on, it's understandable. Vino reversing the sunset flip. Another reversal. One, two. Beautiful sequence of pins. But who's going to take this? Vino going for another pinfall. But no, it does not work. Another pinfall once again. One. Hey, that is a magnificent display of a wrestling ability with the bridge. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. Bino setting his his moves up at the right time at the right place with that low blow. You're right, Joey. Now will we see the, the Russian deathlock, as Bino likes to call it. That is right, it is the Russian deathlock. Will he make Blaze tap out? Very painfully look at that. Bino with his left foot putting the pressure on the ankle on, on Blaze's ankle but if I were Binovich right now I'd work on Blaze's shoulder won't you agree Joey? yes but Blaze would, ex Blaze would probably expect that so why not work on his legs Blaze has just reversed the Russian death walk into an STF he's won many matches with this STF but Bino has gotten to the ropes the, break, the hold has to be broken if you are Bino right now you do not want to be and Blaze's submission holds because Blaze is putting the pressure with his huge forearms. That is right. Blaze looking to finish off this match, lifting a Bino, huge punch to the forehead. Nova Kane on the outside encouraging his cousin. Beautiful hip toss neck breaker style here by Vinovich Furanov right on Blaze and Blaze is down. I'd go for the cover if I were him. Bino is really bringing out all the stops that get a win in this match. I, I'm impressed by his performance. Again, a front neck breaker. He's really working on the, the neck back of, uh, of Blaze. Like I said, maybe Blaze was expecting it would have been better go for the legs, but Bino seems to be working certain specific parts of Blaze's body. Exactly, but now Gorgeous Mike is in the ring. What's he doing there? And Nova Kane won't accept that, so he's, he's coming up the apron. What's going on here? They were setting up for the Russian crucifixion. They have won many tag team matches with that move. It is vicious. Gorgeous Mike has just taken Nova off the apron. And is, Blaze hits the spear. Blaze hits the spear. It's got to be over, ladies and gentlemen. Incredible. He goes for the pin. One, two, and three. Was that two or three? Oh, that was a two count, Joey. That was a last minute two count because I thought Blaze had it won. Blaze now signaling for the Squash Mountain. Will he get that hit done? No, it's reversed by, by Bino with a DDT. He spiked Blaze right on his head. Blaze kicks out. I mean, these two are dishing it all out for the fans here at the NCW. It is Challenge Mania X2. It is the one place to do this. It is the one place to prove yourself. And you know what? In my opinion, 
Blaze is proving himself as a top contender in the IC division, maybe even a future Quebec champion. Well, for now, I want to be, I want to concentrate on, on Binovich Furanov because because he's never had the IC title, and, and it looks to me like he's got some chances here. You know what? He's been putting up a good fight here today, but I, I'm going with Blaze now. I, I'm a favorite of Blaze in this match. You're absolutely right, and the surprise factor that Lovacane is outside the ring cheering for his cousin might might influence the match, Joey. Yes, it might. It, it very well might, Tommy. Now, Bino on, on the third rope. Oh, look at that. It was reversed, and he's going for the squash mountain once again. Will he hit it? No. Binovich falls down. Gorgeous Mike hits place. One, two, and three. We got a new IC champ. Unbelievable. I am so ashamed of the way Binovich just won that with the aid of Gorgeous Mike. That is, that is just wrong. It has brought that title has prestige, and it's been put on on the it's being put around the waist of Binovich Furnov. For God's sakes, come on! Now they're beating on Blaze. The cousins from Mont Saint Grégoire are getting beat up with the national Russian and team in the background, but Novakin coming to the rescue. The fans not happy with what the match turned out, but I guess we have a new IC champ. That's right, Tommy. We have a new IC champ, Novakane, making the save for his cousin Blaze. The fans are just outraged by this. It's incredible. Look at that little fan pulling the finger. He is so mad. Soon to come, the main event, Bishop Chacal for the Quebec title in a cage match. Stay with us, folks. back at Challenge Mania X2 and this is your heavyweight triple threat match here he is one of the top leaders in the elite clan Frankie the mobster he will be facing both Manuel Vegas his arch nemesis and Sonny Warcloud from Quebec City that's right Sonny Warcloud is a newcomer here in the NCW after closing down his federation in Quebec he came to NCW because he believed we are the top federation in Quebec, and he wants to contend with the top talent in Quebec. The hence why he's contending with Frankie the Mobster and Manuel Vegas, Tommy. He's absolutely right. Here at the NCW, we are quite, quite professional, and we really like to have Sonny Warcloud with us. A veteran in the wrestling industry, he's been, he's been with the WWE, WWF, sorry. Uh, he's been travel, he traveled around the world. Now he's with us, and it's a great privilege. It's a privilege, it's an honor, but I mean, look at Frankie the Mobster just going at the fans, ripping their signs, disrespecting them. Who does he think he is? Obviously, he's really got an attitude problem going on. And we saw him hit Mystique a couple of weeks back. That's right, he, he, he was actually seeing Mystique from what I know, and he just turned on her and said she was his practically slave Manuel making the save for his sister Mystique which basically led to this match but I don't know if you remember can Manuel Vegas really trust Mystique because she turned her back on him well as far as I'm concerned she could end up with Sonny Warcloud we never know <laughs> Big man, D&D, and Sonny 
War Cloud ready to drop the hammer on Frankie the Monster in Manuel Vegas. He wants to make a name for himself here at the NCW, and he's made quite an impact since his arrival. Look at him come down the ramp, so calm, so full of of respect and, and prestige. This man, it's, it's an honor to have him here at Challenge Mania XP, Tommy. He is very confident about his ability. He's very confident about his, his matchup here at CMX1 and CMX2, sorry. I'm so I'm just so excited about CMX1, the DVD. Just just go and buy it right now. That's right, Challenge Mania X1 is out on DVD. And please watch out for future compilations of the NCW. There will be Reed's Blizzard, Night of the Blizzard. You also have Christmas Hell, otherwise known as Noel Down Fire. And of course, if you've already bought this DVD, this is Challenge Mania X2. <laughs> came in the NCW with MTH, Mr. Toronto himself, morning made of money that was two, two or three years ago. They've had many great battles together, but now Manny Vegas is solo, and he's been very successful. Actually, he's won the Quebec title. Like I said, he's been a, he's a former Quebec champion, and his solo career has just been skyrocketing lately with the NCW. I mean, look at that outfit. You gotta have money, you gotta be successful to have an outfit like that. And I'm a little surprised. Look at, he, he brought Mystique to the ring. He, he really trusts his sister, I guess. I guess he does. And you know what? I think it's a good move that he did because his sister will be there to help him in any, ca in any case that he might need the help. You're absolutely right, Joey. And look at that. He just wants a piece of Frankie the Mobster. Look at that. Animosity. I mean, it's understandable how much he wants Mobster, but you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. The winner of this match could very well be a number one contender to the Quebec champion. So this match has a lot on the line. It has respect on the line. It has privileges such as being a number one contender. It has bragging rights. on Everything is on the line in this triple threat match for all three men. And I personally think that Frankie the Mobster will be the number one target for these two men. The two of them hate Frankie the Mobster so much, so Mobster's on his own. Sonny Warcloud, when he first joined the NCW, he was a member of the elite clan, but Frank Hito Mobster turned his back on him. So this is why he's involved in the match right now. But Manny Vegas does not like Sonny Warcloud because he once was his arch nemesis too. But look, both men now joining forces to get Frank Hito Mobster. You know what, Mobster has a lot of enemies, a lot of arch nemesis, as you play to say. So, you know what, Mobster, he ain't worried about this. I'm pretty sure he's ready to go. He's just playing mind games right now. He is, and he's playing mind games with this beautiful woman, Mystique, right there. Manny Vegas' sister. And look at him. He's just running after Frank and Mobster. Look at him run away. I think, personally, it was a mistake to bring Mystique down in the ring. Frank and the Mobster has just been taken down by Sonny. Another huge hard elbow from Sonny Warcloud. You know what? I hear rumors that Sonny Warcloud is probably the hardest hitting wrestler here in Quebec. Well, you just very, very well might be right. He's very stiff. Oh, listen to his chops. They're, they're, both of them are double teaming Mobster right now, taking him out of the game. I, but you know what? Once Mobster is out and it comes down to them too, it comes down to Money and Manny and Sonny, what are they going to do? Are they going to face off one-on-one -on -one? well I guess so I mean they don't have much choice do they this is for the number one contendership for the Quebec title I mean you have to give it everything you got mobster showing his disrespect saying this match isn't worth what is this Chase Ironside and Chris Stevens why are they at ringside why are they coming through this just this isn't right Gilly clan absolutely does 
I have no business being at ringside. I have no clue why they are here. Probably to help Frankie the Mobster. But the ref, I mean, come on, ref. You should banish them from ringside right now. And that hard-ass chair shot from Chase Ironside to Sonny. You know what? I'm sick of seeing the elite. And here come 2.0 to make the save. Shane Matthews taking a fall there, I think. Is he all right? Yeah, he is. He's up. 2.0 now in the ring with, with, with their you earned championship belt. Look at that. You know what? They have just evened out the odds in this match. The elite clan is out, and I'm damn happy. I'm sick and tired of seeing them interfere in every damn match. Yeah, but I think the damage might be done. We saw Manuel Vegas down on the mat. Sonny Warcloud has received a couple of chair shots. So who knows the outcome of this match? How will this end, Joey? I'm really, it's triple threat, I can't choose one. Mobster bringing that hard hitting back to Sonny, chopping, punching, elbowing him in the corner. Personally, I think that Frankie the Mobster's mind games will have the advantage over the other two competitors. They might turn one, one another, so, so I'm gonna go with Frankie the Mobster for this match. And look at that move. Mobster just picked up Sonny Warclown and T-Bone Sonny on his back. That is incredible. That is showing incredible strength on the part of Frankie the Mobster. You won't see Alex Price do that. Oh, that is pretty damn doubtful. And, oh my god, a sunset flip here, but... But I don't think that's what Manny Vegas wanted to do, and we see some little animosity here. Oh my god, it, Manny Vegas just, just hit Sonny Warclown again. That was an accident. Mobster's pretty much doing this purposely. He's turning Manuel Vegas and Sonny Warclown against each other. Smart strategy on the part of Mobster. Yeah, what did I tell you? Very smart move by Frankie the Mobster with a very hard clothesline on Manuel Vegas. Frankie the Mobster, very cocky, very arrogant very disturbing over the last year always been a high impact player here in the NCW he's whipping Manuel Vegas and Sonny takes Manuel down why I don't know I guess the, well I told you the argument would, would hit between them I, I was pretty sure about it here they go exchanging shots monster plunge it to the outside I don't believe monster just did that a man of his size doing a vaulting body press plunge to the outside a very good stature Mobster has. A very nice physical shape. Look at that shape, Joey. Oh, Emmanuel Vegas, a somersault plunge to the outside. Hey, man, you know what? These guys are heavyweights, but these guys can fly. You're absolutely right. And I just can't wait to see Sonny Warcott pull off something from the top rope. I'm not too sure if Sonny can fly, but... Well, well he's got his patent tomahawk drop. Okay, 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 you win, you win. Sonny the War Cloud outside the ring right now. And oh, look at that. Manuel Vegas showing no pity whatsoever on Frankie the Mobster. He lifts him right back up and he goes for a, a springboard Norton Light suplex with a bridge. One, two, no. That's not enough. Manuel used the momentum of the ropes to get that Northern Lights bridge plex over and it worked. It's Frankie the Mobster using illegal illegal ways to get over in the match. I just, I don't like Mobster at all. Beautiful, beautiful swinging DDT, but what disappoints me is that Mobster doesn't need to cheat to win. He's very talented. One of the top talents here in the NCW. One of the top talents here in Quebec, but he resorts to stupid ways and, and bad ways, I'd have to say, to win his matches. Sometimes they even turn on him. You're absolutely right. And look, listen to these art chops by Sonny the War Cloud. And the crowd, some some of the people in the crowd may think that Mobster is overrated and they might be right. You know why? Because Mobster cheats. He does not have to cheat to win. That's his problem. Mobster start getting more wrestling oriented. I mean, look at the, the guys he's, he's with in the ring. They are wrestlers and proud to be wrestlers. You're absolutely right, Joey, now. Sonny Warcloud, oh my god, did you see the impact right in the middle of the ring? Sonny showing his strength, just pulling Mobster out from his boots and dropping him on his back. Huge double team here by, by Sonny and Manuel, but Sonny's going for the pin. Vegas makes the break. Sonny's in great shape. How old is he, like 50 years old, still 
still giving it all he's got. Very physical, very brutal, very stiff. You know what? Sonny is a seasoned veteran. He's he's been doing this for a long time, and I don't doubt his abilities one at all. Whether he's 50, whether he's 90, whether he's seven years old, this man is a wrestler. He was made to be a wrestler. And look at his skin. We heard the chops. It's like hard leather. What what's Monster doing right now? Is he bringing out a table? I think he is, Joey, setting up a table outside the ring. Who knows what what's gonna happen now? Huge kick to the ribs of Manuel Vegas, but. I, We've lost view of, of Monster. Why is he bringing out of... Why is he resorting to this? Like before, he does not need to cheat to win. And the fans are very disappointed in Frankie the Mobster. Huge chop taking down Manuel Vegas. And now we see Mobster setting up that table. He's probably going to use it, use it for his own good. And I wonder where the Elite Clan and 2.0 left probably went back to the locker room because I don't see them anymore. You know what? I'm happy that there is no one else ringside but Mystique. I mean, we all want to see Mystique around ringside, don't we, Tommy? Yeah, well, Mystique equals reigning. That's what I read somewhere, so. Funny, very funny. Sonny setting up Manuel, whipping him. Manuel ducks the close and reverses. He's gonna... What does he call that maneuver? That was incredible. A DDT into a flowing bulldog. That was beautiful on the part of Manuel Vick. Monster pulls out the same move. Is is Monster mocking Manuel Vegas? I have no clue, but but that move, that I impact move, really knocked the senses out of Manuel Vegas and Sonny worked out, still out cold. Frankie the Monster is the only tree, one of the tree men, still on his feet in the ring right now, and he's grabbing a chair. He's grabbing a chair. Hitting one of her cameramans. How disrespectful. And look how Mystique in the ring. She grabbed the chair. What the hell is she doing, Joey? This woman is so courageous coming in the ring, grabbing that chair away from her after all he's done to her. And now he's setting her. What? Oh, low blow. Low blow. And what is this? Offensive maneuver by Mystique? Tornado DDT. That was incredible. Manuel, you got to take that one. Sonny comes in as a factor. I mean, these are triple threats, you know. You gotta watch out for that third man. You have to. You you really have to have eyes behind your head. Wherever you are, there's a man behind you ready to hit you right right after you hit a move on. It's very difficult to have a clean winner here. Mystique checking on her brother after the two big men take each other out with clotheslines. And no, Mobster's getting up to to do to what? Oh, come on, leave her alone, Monster. Why won't he leave her alone? Tommy, what is he going to do to her? Oh, and look at that. Sonny Walkout very gently saving Mystique from what could, could have been a devastating hold. And Manuel Vegas should thank Sonny Walkout right now. And look at that. You know what? Sonny is a respectable man for what he just did. What? Are the men? No. No. Oh, Manny taken out to the outside. What are they setting up for? Manny hits Sonny. Are they going through the table? No, no! Oh my God, through the table onto the concrete floor. Unbelievable. And Sonny Warcloud is the only man in the ring as we speak. As Boatman getting, try to get back up. Sonny's the freshman here. Monster is bleeding from his back, and you know what? I'm glad that that table was taken out from him to use offensively on Sonny or Emmanuel, and it backfired. Good, Monster. I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, listen to the hard chop. Sonny Warcloud chopping the hell, the life out of Manuel Vegas. Lucky Seven is down. Sonny is probably the... The freshest man in this bout, Mobster and Manuel have taken a, a lot of abuse up till this point. You're absolutely right, Joey. Now, Manuel Vegas continuing to ditch the punishment to Manuel Vegas, but where's Mobster now? You know what, in triple threats, there are no count outs, there is no disqualification, so this, this is all legal. The ref cannot stop this, there has to be a clear cut winner by pin or submission. And here he is again, bringing in another table. That this is has not has Monster not learned his lesson. 
Well, I guess not. It backfired the first time he used it. Now he's brought a second table to the ring. Probably will try to use it against Sonny Walklaus since Manuel Vegas got the drop on the first one. Who knows? The table is set up in the corner. Frankie is laughing. Oh, Sonny is there to head off Frankie before he uses that table. Sonny Walklaus on fire, chopping the life out of Frankie the Mobster. The table's on the ring, double chop on Mobster. Mobster's down, and Sonny Walklaus is giving the signal for his patent move, that tomahawk drop. He's going to the top. This could be all over, folks. Manuel Vegas heads him off at the top. And Mobster Big Boots Vegas off the canvas. Like I said before, Mobster probably wants to use the table on Sonny Warcraft to get the big man down. Oh my god, a huge superplex off the top rope through the table from Mobster on Sonny. Sonny, kick out. Please kick out. Don't win. Thank you. Thank you, Mobster. I hope you have learned your lesson. Mobster cannot believe that Sonny Warcloud just kicked out of the two count. Unbelievable. After going through the table with a superplex, Sonny very resiliently able to kick out right before the three count. Oh, and look at that. Manny Vegas accidentally just hit, he just hit Sonny Warcloud with the chair shot. And Mobster with the kick in the face. Mobster's up. Everyone's down. This is the apocalypse, folks. This is all out mayhem right now. Sonny is down. Manuel is down. Mobster's up. And what is he going to set up for now? If you want my opinion, Ron Garrett, the senior referee here, has totally lost control of the match. Ron Garrett's lost a lot of control of a lot of matches tonight, hasn't he? Indeed. Well, now... You see Sonny Warglove's down and both Mobster and Vegas are, are, are on the turnbuckle. What's going to happen now? Vegas setting up for... What's he going to do? He's got the, the wrist... Oh! He just got dropped on his family jewels by Mobster. And no, no, not, not the DDT on the chair. Oh, he DDT'd him on the chair. Unbelievable. Did you see the dent in that chair? I sure did. We got tables and chairs. And Frankie the Mobster just won the match. Incredible. Oh, God. Despicable. Oh, we don't need that. Come on now. That's just disgusting, all right? I don't think Frankie the Mobster belongs in the NCW. I don't think he belongs in the string. I don't believe he belongs in Quebec wrestling. This is just disgusting. I'll give him credit. He won the match. But he, he does not deserve he does not deserve this win at all. Look at Mobster now, very frustrated, taking his taking his fury out on security guards. Despicable. Well he won the match. I'm not quite sure what's gonna happen to Mystique. I hope she's safe. Sunny is up now. Seems hurt, seems injured maybe from going through that table, but he's up. And Mobster showing his appreciation to the fans. Look at that, flipping them off, right? This is despicable. I, I hope something gets done about this. All right, folks, we're back. And this is the main event of the evening. The steel cage match between Shakal and Bishop and we got a special guest referee for you Black Eagle you know what Tommy the anticipation has been building not only for those fans right here in the NDR tonight but for me and for you also we want to see this cage match Black Eagle has been assigned to be the special guest referee let's see how this match turns out Black Eagle now making sure that the cage is solid that everything's great he just shook Dream Killer's hand Boatman just love hardcore wrestling <laughs> Tommy you know what both men in this match tonight aren't hardcore wrestlers Shakal the Jackal he is a technical all around probably one of the best in Quebec wrestlers right now and you know what then we have Bishop a power wrestler a muscle wrestler he just pummels his opponents every time he's in the ring and you know what these two are facing off in a cage and this is the epilogue uh, 
of a great saga. The Elite Clan against Shekau. This has been going on for almost a year now. And it will end tonight in the steel cage at CMX2. That's right. This little this little feud between Bishop and, and Shekau has been going on for a while. I mean, it, they were a tag team not too long ago after Bishop lost his tag team partner, Rage, to an injury. Bishop aligned himself with Shekau. He later betrayed Shekau so he could become the IC champion and now has moved to this. You know, the two have been fighting back and forth and it's gone to this. It's got to end in a steel cage match. Well, you're right. And look at Bishop now. He's staring at the steel cage. He knows that tonight's the night he can get his hands on the Quebec title. You know, not only that, but I got to know what's running through his head right now. I mean, it's... It's still mesh. It's it's still pulse. There's so many dangers in this ring right now. You're absolutely right. But the most dangerous object in the ring right now is Black Eagle with his crowbar, by the way. Yeah, well, Black Eagle has that crowbar all the time, and it could come into play. You know what? He's not only a referee. He's a special enforcer. He's going to make sure everything goes fairly and down straight down the middle. And you know what, Joey? Black Eagle took his retirement this year. And the man who forced...